Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do something that you guys have been requesting actually, so I'm kind of excited to do it. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys all of what I did during my school year in Singapore. Um, because a lot of you are interested and curious about what I've actually done. <laughs> and it was one year intensive course with Feng Shu Design. And I'll link the school down below and everything. And I truly believe that you do not need to have Need to go to any school to become a concept artist you just need to work a lot uh, <laughs> but i'm gonna show you what i did and the school work and all that stuff uh, so let's just get into it also i'm feeling a bit sick today so i have my cup of uh lemon drink or something and i'm sorry if i'm sniffling <laughs> i just need to do this today it's the only day i can film this so uh let's just do it so as you can see I've sh i'm showing my screen as well so i have Luckily, we were uh, encouraged to sort everything right, so it is actually... I actually sort everything into folders, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so it's very easy for me to just go through all different classes, different terms, uh, and everything else that you might want to see. And I... It's three year. well, it's one year, it's three terms, and then you have between three and four classes, I can't remember, we will see when we get into it. And um, at least in term one, you had one class that was only traditional, so I won't show any of that because I was kind of boring anyway, so you don't want to see that. Uh, but everything that's digital um, is actually quite interesting to see, and I also have everything here. Um, so we're going to go into the first term folder, and I'm pretty sure I am allowed to be showing all this, because it's not being interesting. Well, I'm going to show everything that I've done, really, not show every single... Uh, lesson and yes uh in term one you have design sketching digital painting i brought it in norwegian for some reason perspective and visual communications i won't go very much into detail i'm just going to show you what i've done um it will be a very long video if i went into detail what we did for every class uh but you kind of get the idea from the names uh design sketching is pretty much studying if I can remember correctly, this is two years ago. Uh, digital painting is digital painting. Perspective is learning perspective. And visual communication is uh, how to design stuff. So we can start with sketching, because this is kind of... This is boring, so I'm not going to show everything. But... Uh, this is... Uh, you found pictures, and then you have to study them. This is all drawn with pen, actually, on paper. And... I guess it's kind of cool. Um, I always, I didn't like it very much. You had to draw with pen as well. You weren't allowed to use pencil, which is very frustrating. Um, and then you just had to like build up your visual library so you could draw this without looking at this other stuff. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> pen drawings. This is also, I haven't looked at this for ages. <laughs> so the later ones in term three, I actually have in my portfolio still, so that's all right. But, oh, what's with the, the, what? <laughs> the lines are so skewed. I didn't care at all for this class. I just did it really quickly. Because you have so much to do every week that you can't really, you can't really be picky. But you had to fill, this is week two, so you had to fill five A3 pages of uh, studies, pretty much. These ones were fun. I remember enjoying this one, actually. Oh well. Um, then we had... Oh, this was my favorite one. I'm going to show you this one. Uh, we did animals. And I got to study animals. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. So I studied skeleton and the muscles. And uh, everyone was pretty impressed with me with this one because <laughs> it was my thing. <laughs> animals. Even now, though, I can see mistakes, which is good, because it's three years ago, so I should be seeing mistakes. Loose. Um, editor. So this is all, like, nothing... This is just looking at references and drawing them, pretty much. So that was also five pages. Every week had five pages, plus everything else that we were doing. Um, so... People? I won't go through all of these, because just... Oh, people. I guess they're alright. You see my style kind of slipping into the references here. This one's my favorite page, actually. I love this page. Let's go through something else. Okay, uh... And then, yeah, okay, so after... 
after week six or week seven, we actually started designing in this class, which is interesting. So I, you had to find the prob, you got a problem and you had to design something that would solve the problem, like an item. And I, it was bottle design. So we found references and we made a lot of thumbnails to do, um, just to get some ideas what to do. And then I don't, even, I didn't think I would with any of these because I didn't have a reason for these bottles at all. Or was it just... Oh, okay, wait, no. This week was just a lot of studies. A lot of different shaped bottles, I think. Yeah, so it was all different shaped bottles. And there were a lot of them. And this kind of tied into the next week, which was the design of the bottle. Yeah, hazardous material bottle. This was really fun. It was the first time I had to think and design. So you had to make this design sheet where you had all your condition problem and wish list like conditions like what is what do you need to have in there it needs to be a hazardous liquid and what's the problem it needs to be held in a bottle and wish list what do i want it to look like like what if i could put anything in this what would i put in it that's pretty much how and then you go through all your ideas and uh, it's a whole thing <laughs> maybe i should do a tutorial about this <laughs> and how to make these sheets and then you have mind mapping references and thumbnails and my final bunch of designs are these three because you have to do three designs i'm pretty sure and they're also like there was like uh and then do i render it at some point no so there's lots of different things in here there's plastic there's glass there's padding lots and lots of padding because you don't want the glass to break um, and it's probably like over dramatic like you don't need this much you can probably get like glass bottles that can hold this pretty easily but I, I think the point was that you could keep this in your room like as a kid and that's why it needed to be extra secure like if you could have mercury in your room and just look at it I think that was the, the thought behind this <laughs> okay but this is gonna be so such a long video we need to move through this transport vehicle I did a Submarine, but oh, there's nothing in this one. <laughs> Alright, is it in this one? Oh, yeah, I was studying. Boring. I think that was meant for the final, which was the submarine, so more studying. Ugh. Boring. What's the most studying? And the final design? Oh no, the spaceships, Jesus. Okay, so the, the submarine is not here. <laughs> There's some spaceships for you. <laughs> I did action spaceships, I had to. And I made it like dragonfly spaceships, because they were cool. Uh, you can probably pause the video if you want to leave this, this stuff. This is the giant tank transfer bulky thing. Yes, queen ship, I called it. And I held all my ideas for how it was gonna work. I need to drink my lips up here. All right. So that was just one class of four classes, <laughs> and this was just one term. This is just one term, one class out of four classes. One term in a year. How long was one term? Four months? Fourteen weeks? I can't count. I'm not even gonna try. What is this? Digital painting. Boxes. <laughs> Oh, we rendered boxes. Okay, yeah, you have to learn how to render boxes. Boring, boring, boring. And then you have to do all the boxes, and then we do more uh, spheres, spheres. So you rendered spheres, spheres. That's how you say it. So I did some interesting one because I I wanted to do a matte one, shiny one, glass, and take see some glass. These were actually fun. To the degree you were also not allowed to use airbrush tool you had to use a hard brush um just to make it harder for you <laughs> they were like you have to learn to do this properly and there was five pages of these three pages of these it wasn't that bad uh we had cube animals which is really fun it was like this you had to like find a reference picture and then you chopped it up into shapes and then you rendered each, each of those shapes separately to kind of practice how to build form and um, it was actually really fun I liked them a lot but it's nothing compared to the other people in that class because they were crazy good 
machines and humans? Oh no, I don't want to look at this. Do the same with boot people. That was I that was a bad week for me. <laughs> Very bad week. Uh ooh, textures. Did different renders of different textures. Uh, I think we did this for two weeks. These are not that good, but they work. And we rendered something we did in another class, so you will see this as well. Um I've said this a few times already, this is going to be a very long video, so enjoy! <laughs> I hope you like it at least, because um, I guess it's very interesting to see what people do in classes. More rendering of materials. Ooh, the glass doesn't look like glass. I see that now. Skin doesn't really look like skin either. Ooh, the, uh, the coal one's good, but you know. Oh, I like the honey. <laughs> We have to move through. I'm um, trying to see if I could find anything interesting. Oh, I was about to move that. Reflections? I can't remember this. Oh, we have to go around with a chrome ball and take pictures and kind of try and paint that into the chrome ball. I didn't do very well. You can find references as well. You didn't have to do it by yourself, but it was a, it was a practice. This one's by yourself. This is actually where I lived. So you took pictures and you tried painting them into yes <laughs> a lot of rendering stuff what's this sneak peek for the next one Ooh! i thought this one was good when i did it what happened what happened this is not good oh shit i spent all the time on the face <laughs> oh my god yeah what's this one Oh, I rented on the spaceships. And then the dragon, this one I actually like. But that's going to be in the other class. Um, you took things from the other class and you rendered it up, pretty much. Uh, perspective is pretty much very boring. Um, <laughs> yeah, we did a lot of these. I'm not even going to show it because it's so boring. Week 7, this is not very much of it. Oh my god, it wasn't even good! Because <laughs> all this was on paper, so I didn't really put it in. What is this? Okay, then. Finals? Oh, you have to draw a church by hand. Or, yeah, something like that. Um, all this is like you have. That's with wash over it. So, you, got, you have to do all the construction lines. All this is by hand. Um, I did use different pencils so that it would um, look better. So that's the final line drawing on top of that. Um, it was used, I used a light board so um, I could do it properly. And then I put on the wash as well. I got pretty good grades on this one, actually. And I think you have to do it inside as well. You see him? Oh yeah. So there was the inside. So there's reflections and stuff just to do some more constructing. <laughs> oh my. Um, so that was fun. Official communications were. Oh, more perspective and boxes. But you built, you started like learning how to build up things in perspective, and then you kind of moved up and up towards making C. You can see there's like a wheel and stuff in there. And then when you got good at that, you would start doing something more bulky. Which would be trucks. But you were not allowed to use the same perspective as the reference picture that we're using, so you have to turn it a little bit. Um, this one's almost the same, which is a bit annoying, but the teacher saw that I didn't trace the picture. There was actually one person who actually traced and got in big trouble. <laughs> you were not allowed to trace. Because um, that kind of defeats the purpose of learning this um, drawing. So this actually was so helpful when it came to like learning how to draw objects. Now I don't really need to use perspective lines because I kind of know how to do it. Um, but yeah, we finally could do something digital. Oh, I did plain. Okay. Can't remember this. <laughs> I barely remember those things. Oh, shit. They all look so cute. Everything I do looks so cute. <laughs> oh, bugs are fun. So one page, or two pages of bugs. They also have to be constructed. Um because they were like a mix between yeah you know what i mean 
dogs. They were fun. This is when I started to get better. Animals, of course, my thing. Yay, animals. Turtle and lizards and then mammals for me. I really went crazy with the hatching in this one. <laughs> Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic animals was one of the options as well, one of the tasks as well. This was really fun. I did five instead of three because I was ambitious and I wanted to do more. Um, they're kind of inspired of Ethiopian culture and animals. It was really fun. I really like these actually. I think we only did one page. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was one page. Oh my god, so many of these. This is gonna take ages to go through. Maybe I should do part one. Maybe this is part one. No, three parts. This is part. This is part one. So term one, and then term three, two, and then three. Uh, we're not gonna look at characters and skeletons because they're horrible. <laughs> Piece of bird was fun. If it was in the folder, no. Hard surface and humans was a task, so I made these guys, vehicles and humans. So this was actually really fun. I remember having a lot of fun with this frog dog down here. Ah, side view. Like I like steampunk stuff, so that was really fun. And then the boss. You have to do this. Was like an extra thing. It was really fun. This one I really like. You have to. Make a boss. Okay! Uh, oh, was that it? Yay! That was part one of what I did at my school, FCD School of Design. Uh, as I said before in the beginning, you, I don't believe in school. <laughs> well, this school really helped me. It was one year intensive. It was pretty expensive to live and to do the course. And I don't really get a bachelor or a master or anything like that. So, um, you kind of have to weigh your options. Um, if you can get education for free, do it, I guess. Uh, but you can also do the same with online classes and get really, really good. Uh, so no need to have to go to a very expensive school in the middle of nowhere. Well, you know, Singapore is not in the middle of nowhere, but it's far away from everything I know. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that first part uh, because I want to show you guys more and I'll break this up into 20 minutes uh, videos. And I will do another one. Probably I'll just post it over the weekend so that you can get a lot of them. Because <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I didn't sniffle and stutter too much. And I hope you, yeah, liked seeing what I did at school my first term. That was not all of it because I couldn't show all of it. It was quite a lot to do for first term. Um, but it gets worse in second term. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I love you guys. If you want to see more of me, subscribe or whatever. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I also just want to say thank you to all my Patreons for being awesome and supporting me. If you want a shout out at the end of my video, please go check out my Patreon link. There's a lot of different cool rewards that you can get. So thank you guys so, so much.